No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketer and online coach i have my own social media marketing agency called brandpreneur where we help businesses grow get more sales get more customers through facebook advertising and i also have my own coaching business where i basically teach you guys on how to do the same so how to start your own social media marketing agency how to get your first clients how to do the outreach to get your first clients how to close the clients how to get results for that clients scale your agency and so on and so forth and in today's video i want to keep this video quite short as well um, I want to discuss bottlenecks and how you can recognize where the bottleneck is within your business and what you can do to sort of overcome that particular bottleneck. Because what I've noticed is that a lot of people draw conclusions relatively quickly rather than actually finding out, okay, what is actually going wrong within my agency? I speak to a lot of you guys on a regular basis. You know, you will either message me on Facebook, Facebook, um, you will, you know, message me in my Facebook community. By the way, for those that aren't actually in that, uh, check out the Lifestyle Design Facebook community where I have uh, a beginner course on social media marketing. Um, there's a free ebook in there as well, a bunch of, you know, a, a few other free resources basically, you know, to help you get up and running, help you get started and so on and so forth. But a lot of the questions I get are things like, okay, well, I've reached out to a couple of businesses, but for some reason, SMA just isn't for me. I, I can't, I can't do social media marketing. And then I asked them, okay, so what particular thing is it that you're struggling with? Is it the outreach? Is it the sales and so on and so forth? And they don't really know. They just, you know, like I said, just just assume that something within the SMA business model is wrong or is at fault when in reality it's one particular aspect of the business that they just haven't focused on properly or they struggle to you know basically you know push that needle in that particular area so one thing I want everyone to do when looking at social media marketing is to categorize each individual task within the four pillars of SMA. The four pillars are outreach and apologies for my handwriting here, still getting the hang of this uh, digital whiteboard app, but we've got outreach, we've got sales. So the outreach is reaching out to potential clients, you're saying, hey, you know, uh, I've got some ideas for you. Sales is when you actually, you know, close a deal. So you get these clients or potential clients, I should say, on a call, you know, um, it looks like a right fit. You can provide a service for them, which in this case is Facebook advertising. They are happy with that service. They're happy to pay you a retainer and basically invest a, a certain amount into Facebook ads, you know, in, and hopefully get a return on ad spend and a return on investment. So the sales is where you closed the deal. Then you've got project management, which basically has to do with everything um, that is not the actual service. So the getting on the calls with these clients, onboarding these clients, making sure that everything is complying with advertising policies with Facebook, making sure the business manager stays up, make sure the ad account stays up, make sure that the right campaigns are set up at the right time, make sure that you know the client is happy, maybe attend the meetings that the client wants you to be on, and so on and so forth. And then you've got the actual project development, which is also called fulfillment, where you basically get the results for the client. So project development, hopefully you guys can read that. If not, just let me know. Uh, project development, there we go. So these are essentially the four pillars of uh, social media marketing. And then what you need to basically ask yourself is, okay, in what particular area do I need to improve the business or maybe even myself to scale this business further? Because it could be that you are you know, absolutely going ham on the outreach, you are booking meetings left, right and center, but your sales skills are failing you. So then the bottleneck would basically be here, right? So you know the outreach is going fine, you're getting people interested, you're getting those calls booked, but then when it actually gets towards, uh, or gets to the point where you need to close the deal, something within you, you know, doesn't feel comfortable. Maybe you're, um, you're stuttering too much and you come across as too salesy uh, or you come across as too salesy, not both. You know, it's hard to come across as salesy when you're stuttering. Um, or it could be that, you know, you're trying to just get that deal over the line too quickly, which I've also seen a lot of people do. You know, they'll use these outdated sales scripts that these sales gurus give you 
and it no longer works, right? There are so many businesses out there offering social media marketing and Facebook ads, etc. Um, in my opinion, the only real way to create a unique selling point is to actually get results for the clients and actually become the authority figure within that particular niche. So, you know, if you can show the clients, okay, listen, these are the results that we've gotten previous clients, then, you know, you immediately just separate yourself from all these other aspiring SMA owners that are still on the verge of you know, trying to get that first client in. Um, and I understand, you know, no, it's not possible for everyone to show results of previous clients if they haven't got that previous client just yet. And you might be in it for the right reasons, but you just haven't got that first client yet. Um, and again, you know, if you're in that situation, I highly recommend you check out my Facebook community because there is a free mini course in there. But moving on, let's say we are good at the outreach, we are good at the sales, we are good at getting clients, but we just can't get results for these clients. You know, we are really, really struggling to get results. We, we don't really understand Facebook ads. Um, we're basically in it to sort of like own the business and work on the business, not in the business. Um, you know, I've, I've got sort of like divided opinions on that whole aspect anyway. Um, you know, for those that don't know, I actually do all of the ads myself for my clients. I'm, I'm getting really good results for my clients as well in this way. Uh, but let's just say, you know, you are not in a position to run ads for your own clients because you don't really understand how to. You're trying it yourself. You watch a few videos on YouTube, but it's just not really happening for you. Then you know, okay, well, then the bottleneck is the project development, right? Uh, we can get the clients in, we can, you know, we can reach out to a lot of clients, you know, maybe you're really, really savvy when it comes to cold calling or outreach and, you know, you're more than comfortable to getting these clients on a call. So there's outreach and sales are not a problem. You know, you're good at managing projects, but when it comes to actually getting results for these clients, you know, that is where you fail. And this is basically the way you need to look at things, okay? You need to look at things in an analytical way. How are you getting on with your agency and where are you struggling with? Because you know, we all know the average sort of retainer for um, social media marketing is around a thousand a month. You know, whether that's pounds or dollars or euros, it doesn't really matter. But one client equals a thousand a month. So if you want to scale this business, I will need to keep in mind that you know, sort of my cameras here. But if you want to scale this business um, and you double the amount of clients, then you've also doubled your revenue. You know, you've gotten two thousand a month again. Just assuming that everyone is on a thousand a month retainer. And then, like I said, three clients also mean 3,000 a month. And the great thing about this is 1,000 a month is only 12,000 a year. But if you get two clients, that's 24,000 a year. And if you get four clients, that's 48,000 a year and so on and so forth. It's really easy to scale social media marketing if you do everything right and you know you notice you know, before it actually becomes an issue where the bottleneck is in your business. So let's say, <clears throat> let's say that um, you know, you, can, you're okay at Facebook ads, you're okay at the outreach. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Reach, you know, you've gotten a few clients in and uh, with sales, it is hit and miss, but still, you know, you can, you can, your closing rate is like 30%. So one out of three calls, you actually get a client in. So you've, you know, you're, you're, you're doing well, you've gotten three clients in, but for some reason, you just can't get up to that full client mark, uh, which would be 4,000 a month, because for some reason, as soon as you get a fourth client in, one of the three clients that you've already got leaves, which I see a lot of business owners and agency owners, I should say, um, have. You know, they can't manage multiple projects. And usually that is because the clients that they take on aren't necessarily a right fit. You know, the clients that they take on are just for the sake of getting the clients in, just for the sake of extra cash flow in the business. They'll take a client on that they don't really enjoy working with. They can tell right away this is not going to be a right fit. So, for example, let's say you focus on real estate and you take on a car dealership just because you happen to get in touch with this car dealership and you notice that uh, this car dealership is willing to spend money on ads. You take them on just for the sake of it, but you notice that it's not really a long-term fit. It's just for the short term. But things like that will cause issues in your business and you'll notice that the bottleneck will then be here, right? That project management is something that you struggle with because 
every single time you want to go for that fourth client uh, or when you want to do outreach you know to get that fourth client in you can't because one of the three clients that you are already in contact with wants to you know send you an email because they want to get you on a call or maybe they want to make changes to the campaigns and so on and so forth so what you need to do and what you need to understand is or well, first of all what you need to understand is obviously you know where which pillar are you actually struggling with and it might not necessarily be that you are struggling per se but what is holding your agency back right now um, from scaling to the next next point in your agency look actually comment it down below what pillar are you struggling with most and think about it because if you are struggling with the sales is that because you are not good at sales calls or is it because you're not booking enough sales uh, enough enough calls project management are you struggling to manage multiple projects or is it because one of your clients is not a right fit so really think about this you know before uh, comment it in in the comments below but just leave it in the comments below what aspect of the business are you struggling with most so in terms of outreach how can you reach out to more businesses now for me cold email is you know in terms of like organic manual outreach i think cold email is the best way um i've tried and that's not to say that other business uh, other methods of you know reaching out to businesses aren't good but for me personally cold email outreach has been you know hands down one of the easiest way to get clients you know, all you need to think about is if you send a thousand emails yeah and let's say 90 percent of the people that see your email don't even end up responding you know they just ignore you think oh you know what is that spam that's still a 10 percent um you know open and reply rate which means that a hundred people will st- oh, not, not, not a thousand let me just quickly erase that last zero um that means that a hundred people will still end up replying to your message now let's say out of those hundred people um let's say 50 percent say you know what yeah that's fine let's hop on a call that, that means we've got 50 calls booked let's say our closing rate is you know 10 you know not everyone that is on this call is a good fit some of them haven't got a budget some of them uh thought it was just a free consultation they didn't know there's like a sales call attached to etc so your closing rate is 10 percent that is still five clients landed from a thousand emails and you know obviously those numbers i'm just coming up with them now as we go along let's say rather than 50 percent uh, people you know decide to hop on a call with you only 10 percent because you say in that email uh, listen you know this is to see if we're the right fit and only 10 percent of the 100 emails that reply um say you know what fine let's schedule a call but your closing rate is 30 percent because the calls are a right fit then again you know that's still three clients or you know roughly three clients and that is how you need to look at it so that is why cold email outreach in my opinion is very very good and yes you know the more personalized you go with these emails the better i'm not saying that you should just blast out random emails um, obviously you know we've got the hybrid outreach system in in our course that explains how to do this but you know i'm just saying it is a numbers game at the end of the day but cold email outreach is a great way to reach out to businesses at scale alongside that of course you've got freelancer websites that you can look into but you know of course probably the best way is just paid traffic which is something that we are doing currently as well so paid traffic will get you calls booked and then from there uh, as soon as you know your lifetime value of a client so let's say a client is a thousand a month um, and you know that a client stays an average of eight months you know you are getting good results then you know okay so one client is worth a thousand how much are you willing to spend to get a client for eight thousand and like i said it is spread over you know x amount of months so if you get a client in on the front end for seven thousand and you're seven thousand out of pocket and you need to wait eight months to get it back obviously that is not feasible but just realistically how much are you willing to spend and how much can you spend to acquire a customer and as like i said as soon as you know your numbers it's it's easy it's easily scalable um and like i said you know if you can get a client in for 500 which might sound like a lot for some of you you know this thing and spending 500 on ads to get one single client in but would you spend 500 knowing that you know over the span of eight months that client will generate you eight thousand you know that what, what is that that's a, a 16x return on investment there that's that's how you need to look at it you know think long term think how, how okay how can i actually scale this business and treat it like an actual business as well rather than a get rich quick scheme okay then in terms of sales you know okay if you are struggling with the sales calls you know these clients are a right fit you know you are reaching out to the right people but you just really struggle with getting those uh, sales you know or sales over the line well then think does it need to be you particularly can it not just be someone on, on the sales team get a closer that does things for 10 percent of the 
um, monthly recurring revenue. So let's say we get a client for a thousand a month or with this guy's sales skills, we can actually get them in for 1500 and he takes 10%, that's 150 and then 90% is yours, you know, to either spend on someone to do the fulfillment for you or, you know, just in your pocket as cash flow while you're getting the results for them. Okay, project management, same thing, you know, are you struggling with multiple businesses, uh, you know, struggling to juggle multiple clients, then all of these clients are right fit, are they all in the same niche? Can you replicate the results over and over? Um, if not, well then maybe that is something that you need to streamline within your business. And same goes for project development. Are you struggling to get results for these clients? Is it because, let's say for example, it's e-commerce and you understand e-commerce, but the product is awful or the website is awful. Is it your fault or is it you know uh, that the rest of the flow just isn't there? Are you driving enough traffic to the store or is it just literally that your ads are absolutely dreadful and that is why these ads aren't working? You know, ask yourself what points or what is actually causing the bottleneck in your business. Um, there is an easy solution for everything, right? Outreach, paid traffic, uh, automated emails, appointment setters, sales, closers, a sales team, uh, project management, you know, again, streamline it. Uh, maybe get like a project management, get like something like Slack, uh, Facebook Workplace, Asana, Monday. You know, there's so many ways to streamline those uh, management processes. Project development, can you learn Facebook ads? No, can you get someone to do the Facebook ads for you? For example, we've got a white label service for agencies that get clients in and don't know what to do. So we actually offer white label services. Is there a white label service that you can look into or you know, would you like to use us and so on and so forth, okay? Only think in solutions and think to yourself, okay, where exactly is the bottleneck in my business? And like I said, I wanna keep this video relatively short. Um, so I am going to wrap up this video here. If you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know in the comments down below where the bottleneck is in your business. Subscribe to the channel for more. Check out the Lifestyle Design Community, which is my free Facebook group. If you want to know more about social media marketing, you want to connect with like-minded people, and you want my free beginner course, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.